Hi, uh, my name is Darush Rezai. Uh, I'm going to present my presentation uh, model name, work-related learning. Uh, I'm start with my introduction. I have analyzed several subjects in this assignment. My main topic in this assignment is a explanation about healthcare and the social care. How how we, we can enter to the social care as a support worker, NHS structures, cultures and foundation, and in the end examining the relationship between the organization and its stakeholders. Healthcare. I'm start with healthcare is my first uh, slide. Treatment and the diagnosis of the disease in human by prescribing uh, appropriate and effective drugs, we can re regain our health. Healthcare provided by the NHS is free at the point of the delivery to UK resident. Apart from the few things, for example, dental care and eye tests. In England, a uh, prescription of free for some people who are not able to, to pay, it means they have some uh, uh, disability, they don't have a uh, regular salary and they can work. So they don't need to pay, but the rest of people, uh, they have to pay. Healthcare is provided by the NHS or by private sectors. GPs, hospital doctors, nurses, uh, clinical psychologists, occupation therapists, speech and language therapists, and dentists and uh, opticians. My, my third uh, slide is a social care. Social care is a service that generally provide uh, all type of the professional, uh, all type of the uh, personal care and assistance with the daily routine for the children young people and adults who need extra support. In England and in Wales, local authorities have a responsibility to provide service to children who is uh, disabled. More than one and a half million people work in the social care sector in uh, 38,000 different settings and adult care sector held 43 billion pounds to English economy. The average salary for the support workers in England ten pound fifty pence per hours average uh, annual yearly gross income uh, to twenty four thousand nine hundred fifty two pound. Uh, healthcare divided to three types: primary care, secondary care, and uh, tertiary care. Primary care is the first contact of the people for the health treatment. It is uh, provided by the professionals such as GP, dentist and pharmacist. The secondary care is uh, the care that is urgent and emergency uh, and the care that requires hospitals. Tertiary care is the highest spe uh, specialist treatment uh, such as uh, neurosurgery, uh, transplant, and the uh, secure forensic mental health service. So how I can be a uh, support worker and what is the support worker? The support worker helps people who, uh, who needs help with the, their daily life. They helps people with the mental health challenges and the learning disability as well as the elderly and help them develop skills to live independently and overcome their social or uh, physical disabilities. So what does support worker do? Support worker does important tasks during their uh, working days, helping people with the learning, physical and mental disability, assisting clients with the special physical needs, including walking and traveling, helping the clients with everyday tasks such as personal care, shopping, taking the medication and making medical appointments, and helping the clients develop their skills to be independently. So how to become support worker? what we need to do to be support worker. So now 
uh, I, uh, I'm gonna talk about a list of the steps which is to help us to be support worker. Have a GCSE. Have a GCSE helps you to understanding of the disability of the mental challenges the patient is dealing with. It can help you to perform your task more effectively. So National uh, Vocational Qualification is NVQ. NVQ is a qualification that helps you to develop your skills to help you carry out the variety to a variety of tasks. Mention the skills that increase your ability to be accept in this job in your CV, such as driving license, uh, cooking skills, communication skills, and either. Uh, when you start working as a support worker, in most cases, employer ask you to complete on the job training. This training will be very effective for your progress. So now I'm talking about NHS structures, cultures and foundation in England. Uh, who is the charge of the NHS? Who is the boss of the uh, NHS? Who is the head of the NHS? NHS system is uh, ultimately controlled by the government. From the, gov uh, for, from the uh, governing party, a, a senior minister will be appointed the secretary of the stage of the health and social care. This position is the head of the department of the healthcare social care, a major government department. The health secretary, health secretary is responsible for the, for the oversight of the NHS as well as England's social care policy, uh, national policy, health and the international health partnerships, the, go uh, the government uh, ultimately decided, the government ultimately decided how much money the NHS received and do to top level priority setting. NHS is actually free uh, for everyone who lives in England. Uh, NHS is founded by the uh, taxpayer money a healthcare spending in England is roughly equivalent to uh, three thousand pound per person per year. Founding for the health service comes from the total budget of the Department of the Health and Social Care. Department of the Health and Social Care uh, pass on the majority of the budget down to the chain. the The money that isn't passed on its spend on this, such as public health, training and development of the NHS staff and uh, regarding, uh, regulating the quality of the care. So NHS England, that is complex system. Uh, each year in the UK, the Secretary of the State published a document known as the NHS uh, Directive. What, uh, which set out the aim of the NHS in England. They think that the NHS in England should aim to achieve throughout the year. This main tax is go out and ensure the uh, provision of the uh, provision of uh, appropriate service has been set up. Currently, NHS England actually only receive this service themselves when they do a uh, commission they are mainly provided at the national level they are specialized service such as ray cancer treatment military medical care service and criminal and primary care service including dental pharmacies and uh, uh, optimet uh, optometry optometry but not general practice so it's coming to ccg which commission with the west majority of the nhs service ccgs are a group of the general practice that works together to provide the best service for the uh, patients it has a nurse and a hospital doctors for the outside of the organization in the region in the region they came 
in with the aim of giving GPs the power to the increase the service they are elected to provide. The fees can be for on a NHS hospital, voluntary charities, or even private companies. The idea is that due to competition between the organization for CCG contracts, the price will come down and the quality of the care will go up. The last one is the service uh, provider. The service pri provider actually they give care to the patient in the front line. They can be hospital, GP, ambulance service or walking centers in the name of you. They are regulated by the number of different bodies including the Care Quality Commission or CQC for sure. The CQC is a short of the uh, the CQC is a short of like and uh, offset but for healthcare providers in inspecting facilities outcome and patient exper uh, experience is reports directly to the Department of the Health and Social Care. Organization and the stakeholders. What is the stakeholders? Stakeholders is the anyone that has an interest in the business. Stakeholders can have an impact on the business or by impact by the business that people can be individual group of people or other organization stakeholders can be two uh, type of uh, inter, uh, internal and external internal stakeholders who interest in the company comes to directly in uh, a relationship from within the business and external stakeholders are those who do not directly work at the for work for the company but uh, are diff affected in some way by the action and outcome of their business so back go to the organization what is the organization is the main mat uh, phenomenon it's more than two people involved in the case an organization is for Organizations are different from the institution. Organizations have a specific purpose that is, that is they are formed to meet a need and a desire. Every organization has strategy. It means uh, uh, it has plan and path and path and path to uh, achieve their goal and has a specific limit and a specific cultures is it depend to other organization for its server in this sense that is must operate uh, alo alongside uh, other organization in a relationship to the re relationship between in relation to the relationship between the organization and stakeholders so analyze the stakeholder is one of the uh, constructive method organization must identify the, the needs and expectation of their stakeholders in order stakeholders in order to design the suitable responsible plan to pro to, uh, to properly to properly respond uh, to their expectation creating a quality and balance uh, creating equality and balance otherwise all member of organization and your stakeholders will be harmed creating a transparency uh, trans transparent transparency between the client and organization how provide service how uh, who provide the service by award of them of danger and risk ahead. Uh, appropriate behavior their positive, uh, their positive and negative behavior should not be specific to uh, one person or on a group of people. Not discrimination and uh, uh, be, uh, be careful to dignity and privacy. Thank you so much.